Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios uh, photograph for today. Um, those are tulips, my favorite flowers. Hi, how are you today? Um, I'd like to share my poem devotional, uh, which is extracted from 1 Corinthians 6, verse 20. It says, God bought you with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. And here's my poem. Honor God with your body. What do you put in and on your body? Are they things that keep you healthy? Are the clothes you put on maintaining your purity? Are you distracting others by focusing on your outward beauty? God bought you with a high price. Will you continue to listen to lies? Honor God with what he gave you. His son died so we can be renewed. Here's my essay. Do you respect the body that God has given you? Do you think that your body is entirely your property? It is sad to see that the world has corrupted people's minds, that we totally own our bodies and can do anything we want with it. This lie that the enemy has perpetuated in our worldly views has brought so much havoc in our lives. We cater to our own pleasures and ingest things that are not always good for our physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. The Bible says that God bought us with a high price through the blood of Jesus, His Son. He expects us to honor Him with our bodies. It is like being stewards of a house that we are renting because it is not ours. Prayer. Lord, remind me constantly that you own everything. Reflection. How can you honor God with your body? And um, I just uh, like to give a re response to the reflection question as a form of testimony and as a form of insight as to <coughs> uh, <coughs> this uh, verse from the Bible. Uh, today, in our society, um, there is so much emphasis on, you know, the looks, outward beauty. That's why there are also so many illnesses that has been brought about by the dictates of these magazines, like uh, fashion magazines, that say that beauty is outward, you know. That beauty is somebody who who has a, a figure eight, a figure, somebody who has a flawless skin, somebody who has um, beautiful dresses to wear and all kinds of stuff. But in the Bible, it also says that a beautiful woman is somebody who fears the Lord, is somebody who is um, loving the Lord. And... For someone to love the Lord, they know that they do not own their body and that they have to respect their body. By, by respecting our body, we are actually honoring the Lord. And uh, a lot of people do not, cannot um, wrap them, their minds into that concept because they think that, you know, uh, on, on, on a worldly point of view, this is my body, I can do anything with what I want. Yes, you can, but also God did not design you to, um, your body was designed after his image. In other words, you were made and we are all made so that we can be like God. And what is the biggest or what is the most important characteristic of God that he made us with? He made us out of love because he is love. So we are all made out of love. Now, just, I'm just going to give you a, a practical example how to um, make this work for people who cannot comprehend the fact that our body is not ours. Like, for example, um, a car. A car you bought is very expensive. That car only takes a certain uh, gas that it needs, a certain um, um, oil or fluid that it needs to run the engine and all kinds of things. Now, if you put anything that is not right for the car, you're going to suffer some consequences there because you're going to 
uh, not be able to maximize how the car was made for example it runs on elect electric or, or, or if it's an electric car you cannot put so much gas or you can put uh, you know on it because that's not what it's designed for in the same way our body is designed to love so if we abuse our own body and it wasn't designed to 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 be a loving act then then we are not taking care of our body and then then we cannot be able to maximize what our body is made for for example um, if you're not married I think it's uh, the Bible says that you're not supposed to be in, impure or lustful for other people and in the same way when you're married you shouldn't lust for any other woman but your wife or you shouldn't lust for any other man but your husband so if you honor God and you love God, then you will also honor the body that He has given you. And you will respect, you know, what kind of food are you going to put in your body. You're not going to put all kinds of junk food in your body because that is not taking care. Not, that's not uh, being a good steward, steward of your body. And um, if we do that, we can do that, you know, but if we do that, there is a consequence. There is an aftermath to what we do. So we get sick, we get ill, and you know, consequently, if we get ill enough, we can die of an illness or a disease. So, in the same manner, like if you look at it, like you're you're renting an, a place, and you rented a very beautiful place that you love so much, but you don't have the money to buy it, so you're renting it. You would want to keep that place um, uh, maintained because it's not yours and but you're also because it's also not yours because you're responsible for something that you want to enjoy in the same way God wants us to enjoy our body but he wants us to follow uh, his commands because by following his commands we are actually being warranted a good life so in other words just like when you buy a, a, an appliance or a car your warranty will expire if you misuse the 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 that appliance or the car the same way in in our body if we misuse our body we are forfeiting the maximum potential of uh, the, the life that God has given us so I hope that you that I more or less uh, shed light on this uh, uh, topic how to honor your body uh, as to because when you honor your body you're showing God that you respect him and that you love him and that you're thankful for what he's given you so thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website for more artworks and photographs at ilmaarts.com. That's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S dot com. Have a wonderful, blessed day and I hope that you respect the body that God has given you. God bless.